Hey everyone, I want to go through how to uh, use Solver to make an optimal lineup with uh, for hockey, for daily fantasy hockey. I mean, this is going to be pretty similar to the baseball and football ones I've done, but um, let's just go through it for hockey. So first, let's, we're going to have to get our lineups. So I'm going to do this for FanDuel, and um, I'm just going to pick any any tournament here, just to download um, download the players. So I'm going to go in here, it's a download player list. And what it's going to do, it's going to open up a, little, a CSV file, which I'm going to open. Okay, so now we've got our uh, our players all here. So I'm just going to copy this into my Excel file. So just do Control C to copy it. And here's just this Excel file I had already started, so I'm just going to paste it in here. Just to have the uh, information right here. So, first thing we're going to want to do is get the the uh, names combined. So, we can see if our Fandula is a first name and last name. Let's get a new column here, just called name. And to combine them, what you're going to do, you can put equals or plus, whatever. Well, actually, let's just do equals. First name carry, and then you can use this little and sign. And then if you do quote space quote it'll put a space, then another and, and then you put the last name. So there we go. Now we've got Carey Price as the full name. So I'm going to copy this all the way down. Looks like there's quite a bit of players today in this uh, these games. So we've got 700 players, so we've got quite a bit. So now that we have all the players in here, I'm going to do right click on it, do copy. And then we'll go to paste special and values. So what that does is now there's no more formula. If you look here, it's just the name. I mean, this step is just an added step. You don't need to do this to run the optimal lineups. You can run it off just the, their last names. So what we want to do now, now we've got all the players here. We've got the main things you need are the players, their salary, and their projection. We're not going to use projections here. I'm just, just I just want to teach you how to use this. So we're just going to do the points per game, which is uh, just their average from uh, last year. And in another video, I'll show how to get projections uh, onto there. But so we've got the point points per game, and what we're going to do, we need to do an extra column. I'll just call it ratio to get the top players because you know how I show it's seven. There's 700 players. Well. We solver only does the top 200, so we need to get just the best players up there. So what we're gonna do is pretty much do plus points per dollar. So there's points divided by what their dollar is. So we get a ratio here, and we're gonna copy. I'm gonna copy this all the way down. So now we've got all this here, and we're gonna sort this, and we want the highest. So we're gonna go data and we're going to sort from Z to A here so we're gonna, which would mean sort from largest to smallest and it's going to sort everything in here so I'm going to press sort and there and uh, Brandon Sutter is the best player because he's looking to score 9.2 is average but he's only $3,600 so now we've got the top 200 players in there it should be a nice range of positions here um, that we've got So now we've got all that set. We need to create our extra columns. Here's the in column. This is uh, gonna be all zeros or ones. This is gonna where solvers gonna tell us if we include the player or not. I'm not I won't copy all that down right now. Then we're gonna need all our positions. So we got center, right wing, left wing, defense, and goalie. So now we've got all the positions, and we need to put a formula in here to uh, to count these up. So our formula is if parentheses this position equals quote equals center, then we're going to do one times this number. Otherwise, we'll do quote quote. We press the other parentheses and it's done so what this means 
here is if the position is equal to center, then I'm going to do 1 times Q2. And it shows it's a 0 now, but solver is going to go through these and put 1s next to all the players that make the, the optimal lineup. And so if it makes the optimal lineup, then it's going to be 1 times 1. So then a 1 is going to show up here. So then we'll be able to count how many centers there are. And if it's, and like, it, then here, if this is not a center, which we saw, this is a right wing, then it's, it's going to show up as quote, quote. So let's continue on here. Let's do the next one. If parentheses, oops. If parentheses b2 equals quote um, rw quote for right wing then 1 times this this number otherwise quote quote and see this one's a 0 because it's doing 1 times 0 it, the other ones are doing quote quote so now a quick way to get the rest of this, instead of copying it down, if we just put a dollar sign in front of the letters here, you can put a dollar sign in front of each. Now I can copy this over. And now in each one it's showing if B2 equals right wing. If I didn't put a dollar sign, what, what Excel will do when you copy it over, it'll go B2 here, then it'll be C2. It, it kind of makes it do, do it like a reference, a relative reference. So you have to put a dollar sign in order to copy it. Um, but Or you could just go in and just type in the formula in each one if you wanted to do it the long way. I'm just showing a shortcut here. But now you have to be sure to change the positions. So we've got this becomes left wing. This becomes defense. So we want D. And this becomes goalie. So now we've got all of these numbers here. I'm going to copy this down 200 lines. Because remember, Solver only does 200 records. Oh, it, what did it do here? Oh, okay. We shouldn't have copied this. I'm going to copy all these zeros down again. All the formulas came out fine, but. These should just all be zeros. And then solver will tell us if it's zero one. So now we've got the formulas in here. And we've got the zeros there. Now we got to now we set up our parameters. So first we want to set up um, our uh, our score. So what how what's our score? So get score you have to put the formula sum product and some product is going to multiply everything in this column Q, Q2 to Q200 and we're looking for score so we want the fantasy points here E2 and they have to be the exact same all the way um, references See, like this is 2 to 200, so this has to be 2 to 200. There, now it's a score of 0. But say, like, Solver had picked uh, this guy, it would have put a 1 here. There, now the score of 9.2, because it's taken Brandon Suter's score of 9.2 in there. But, well, let's put this back to a 0. So now we've got score here, we want the salary. So salary is going to be the same thing, some product. So it's Q2 to times Q up to, I mean Q2 to Q200. And now we're doing salary. So the salary is here. So it's G2 to G200. Whoops, went past it. And you got to put the end parentheses. 
and there we go now we got salary and say I put this one again so there's the 9.2 and it's also the salary of 3600 but I'll put this back to zero because we let solver do that and the salary cap is 55,000 for FanDuel so we're gonna have to say make sure this number stays below or equal to this number which is 55,000 now we're gonna do all our positions so we got center right wing left wing defense and goalie so here this is how many uh, they require FanDuel requires two of each position except goalie which is just one now for this we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna sum up this column so this will tells us how many centers we have and it's some it's R2 to R200 and right next is uh, right wing so we do sum R2 I'm not going to go scroll all the way down you can just do a few and then just type it in make it go a little quicker left wing sum T2 to T200 defense U2 to U200 and the goalie is right here V2 to V200 now the last parameter is just the total number of players there has to be nine players and this is just uh, just another check to make sure solver gets all the number of players and we're going to do sum again and we're just going to add up all of these from Q2 to Q200 alright so now we've got all the parameters set now it's time to load it into solver so we got data and then uh, my screen you it cuts off here but if over to the right it's just the solver button which you're gonna press if you don't have that you're gonna have to add solver um, through your options but let's uh, set up the parameters so the first parameter is what are, what are we gonna maximize we wanna maximize this cell and the cell we're gonna maximize is the score we want the highest score possible so we're maximizing cell Y1 we set this to max and what are we gonna change we're gonna change solver wants us to change this so we want to change Q2 to Q200. That's our, what our changes are. Now we're going to click Add. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just scroll back up. Okay, now we're going to click Add. And what are we going to what are we going to put as our constraints? First one is the salary. We want the salary less than or equal to this number next one is the center it has to be equal to to this number right wing is the sum of this has to be equal to this number now the left wing has to be equal to there defense must be equal to Z7 and goalie must be equal to Z8 and the final one is the number total number of players has to be equal to 9 now we've got everything when click OK so we, these are all our constraints except we still need to add one more we need to add the binary one what that means is we're gonna take this whole row and solver will give us a fraction and it'll give you like Point eight of a player or something crazy like that unless you set it to binary so you have to send this down to binary that means solver is only do a zero or a one we'll click OK so now we've got all the constraints set up and ready to go the last thing you want to do is just set up simplex uh, simplex LP that's just the, the uh, method that will get us the best result so I think we're all set to go and uh, all we have to do is press solve there solver found a solution went pretty fast all constraints or conditions are satisfied click OK now let's look at it, it gave us a score of 96.9 uh, salary we didn't even reach our 55,000 
we get two centers, two of all the positions. We have nine total players. And to find the players, all the ones here are where the players are. So he has one right winger here, which we saw is Brandon Sutter. If we scroll over, it looks like the next two players are defense. So who, um, actually we got him right here. Francois Beauchemin. Okay, <laughs> hockey names are a little harder to pronounce. And that's how you call them here. Daniel Sedin was was taken, Joe Pavelski, and, and so on. And those are all of the nine players. Everywhere there's a one, and that's where all of your players are. Uh, in other videos, I'm going to show you how, we, how you can easily extract all these player names to come up in one one little chart to show what they are instead of scrolling looking for the ones. There's a lot of little tricks to, to add it, but I wanted to show you how to uh, just use Solver to uh, get the optimal lineup once you get the, um, s the salaries and the projections. Uh, thanks a lot.